Yeah, we're here in Leoging. I think it's my 11th World Championships. It's dope how I could be here. Like, you never think we would have races at the start of the year with everything that was going on. It's bigger than our sport, so we couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, to me, to me, it's like a big uh, honor to wear the jersey and to represent my country that normally doesn't have such a good reputation. Where'd all the time go? The sun is a little bit out. The snow is in the mountains, so yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day. They're making an old school mud gun from an inner team. It's uh, Arts and Crafts Series 1 GT Factory World. It starts at the Obviously you have to take risks if you want to win a world title, so that's what I did. I um, crashed two times and then went into a tree, so it was okay. Not quite the day I'd hoped for. I was pretty keen on the race coming in with the practice session. I felt pretty good, so uh, just didn't work out. But it was uh, out of the 11 world champs I've done, it was probably the hardest one. So I was super nervous, to be honest. Uh, I was just stressed to stay alive in one piece. The first half was really, really good. I was really happy and pretty calm. Uh, and then I got to the woods and it was just like ride on slide. Got to the finish line and eventually got eight. So I'm super happy with that. And yeah, it was really good time with the team and good to learn from the boys from Wigan Eaton. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to see if I can do some next year. <laughs> 